Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. For those of you, if it's your first time here, my name is Lois, warm warm welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, guys, thank you for coming back and spending some time with your girl to see what I've got in store for you today. Now guys, today, 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 I have got a smashing haul for you. It's quite a big haul as well, and it's from the store Ikea. So I am so excited to bring you these pieces because guys, I haven't been to Ikea in, oh my gosh, ages. I mean, I used to go to Ikea years ago, but there's a reason I went to Ikea, which if you've been watching my vlog, you'll know why. But before we get into all that guys, if it's your first time here, or you're watching and you haven't subscribed, why not? Come and subscribe to the channel, be part of the family. I'd love to have you. And if you like what you see today, definitely subscribe because this is the kind of vibe that I bring to the channel. So before we get into it all, let's do candle of the day. Now guys, the candle of the day is one of my favorites in terms of seasonal candles. And uh, one of my favorite from DW. This one is called Honey Pumpkin. And if I bring it closer to you, it's Honey Pumpkin. Now, this one is absolutely gorgeous. It hasn't got a strong sense of a pumpkin smell, but it has, but it's more the honey that really sweetens it. This is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorites. And I'm so glad they brought it back out this year. If you want to know more about this candle, check out, um, I think it's one of my, is it Get Ready for Autumn Hauls? But I'll list it above and then you can see more details about that candle in that haul. But this is my candle of the day. So look better? Yeah, that's nicer. And guys, if you notice up there, I've also got the uh, diffuser to go with it that matches twinning, twinning and winning. So guys, oh, before I get into all of that, do you like my top? My daughter got this for me and she goes, Mum, this is so you. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, hello. Look, it says, it says cat mum. Like, really? But I thought, I'm not going to argue, Lois. I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> I mean, if that's, if that's the label you want to give me, hello. Talking about cat mum, we've got company today. So if you see a little tail wagging through my hall or as I move things around she gets a little bit closer because right now she's been kept at bay. So if you see a little yeah it's her. So let's get into this haul now guys those of you that have been following my channel and I know a lot of you have now you would have seen that I'm doing what's called an apartment series and it's basically fixing up an apartment in the middle of London um, as a blank canvas and yeah, that's what I've been doing in a series. So if you don't know about that, you want to know more about it, again, I'll link that up above so you can have a look at that and see what's happened so far. But once fixed up the apartment, I kind of discovered that we need some curtains. So the most obvious place to me, I mean, I've looked around other places, but I thought, let me pay Ikea a visit because Ikea does everything, don't they? Well, I went to Ikea and as I say, I recently vlogged that. And while I was in there, I couldn't believe some of the stuff. I mean, I haven't been there for... Back in the day, I used to go Ikea, like, all the time. And I kind of, you know, moved away from it because I more see Ikea as when you're sort of changing rooms, fixing things up, moving into your new home, that's what you might go to. Well, I haven't moved for a while, so I haven't needed to really go there. But then I forgot how much beautiful homeware they actually do. I know I'm going on a bit, guys, but I'm trying to set the picture here. Do you know what I mean? But... When I was in there, I'll show you what I picked up. Because I actually went for curtains. Yeah, ha. Those of you who watched the vlog, you know I went for curtains. <laughs> Did Lois come out of curtains? You'll have to wait and see. But anyway, one of the things I saw in Ikea was this beautiful tray. Let me show you. This tray is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful gold tray. It's quite a big tray as well, guys. It's really, really big. Um, so if I hold it like that, you'll see how big it is. But it's absolutely stunning. Now, I saw it in there and I couldn't resist it. I can't remember the price for this tray. I think it's around the £9 mark. Um, I haven't got my receipt, guys, so I'm sorry. I really can't remember 
the exact prices of things, but I will try to roughly give you a guesstimate of what the price is. So this is absolutely gorgeous, this gold tray. And I said, nah, yeah, I love a bit. I love a, you know, you know your girl loves a bit of gold, don't you? You know, yeah. So that's my gold tray. Clang, the clang, clang, clang. The other thing I picked up in there was, and guys, I've always wanted one of these and I have never had one. And I mean, I have got an ordinary glass one, but I wanted a rustic looking kind of farmhouse vintagey style. And I just can't seem to find the ones I want in the price range that I want. So yeah, you can get it for all 40, 50 pounds online. I know, you're thinking, that's what you're talking about. Just show me what you're talking about. Okay, I'll show you. One of these, yes. Now, I actually particularly wanted a kind of vintagey looking, fancy-ish cake stand, but I actually wanted it for my coffee area. Um, like I've got a little coffee station, hot chocolate station going on for the girls. And I actually wanted one sort of like a tray for that area. So it had to have a certain kind of look. And I was really having a hard time finding it. I mean, the place where I did see it and I missed out was in the range and I haven't seen it in there since. And that was in the, that was, I think it was last year's summer, I saw it in there. But this one, Ikea came good. Now it's two trays. Um, this was about 13 pounds for this one. And compared to some of the price I've seen online, 40 odd pounds for a two tier rustic tray, loved it. But I got that in Ikea and that is for our hot chocolate station to put all the little bits and pieces on it for the season. So yeah, picked up that in there let's put that over there oh clang 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 right what else yes so see you see you should make a little bit of movement a certain tail keeps appearing but anyway let's 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 bypass that now the other thing i picked up in there was this lovely lantern now this lantern is absolutely gorgeous i mean it has got the paper inside it it'd be good if i took the paper out wouldn't it yeah you could actually see it properly let's get rid of that and that is a beautiful lantern and this was around, I think around 10 or 11 pounds, I think this one was. But this is gorgeous, guys. You can put anything in there you want to. You can put like, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily say a tea light. Probably a tea light might be safe in there, but keep an eye on it. I wouldn't leave it alone. Or, um, yeah, you can put like one of those um, candles, like the electric candles, LED candles in here. But this is a beauty absolutely gorgeous now i just kind of picture this in a, in a winter kind of setup um absolutely lovely but yeah that was around yeah about 11 pound mark and you can see the detail a bit closer absolutely gorgeous that lantern tigger stop eating my plants G guys i have no plants left in this house this this girl keeps it why are you eating my you know what, guys? We move, yeah? Let's just keep it moving. She's gone now because she doesn't like when I shout at her. But what, what? Anyway, let's keep it going. Talking about plants, that's why I have to buy artificial ones, guys. And this one I got from Ikea. This is an artificial plant. This one was coming in about six pounds. Now, this to me looks quite, um, quite a natural look to it. And it's probably why the darn cats keep eating my plants. Because all my plants that I buy, guys, that I don't buy real plants in the house because of the cats. So I buy the plastic cats, the plastic cats, the plastic plants, yeah, the faux plants. And maybe because they look so real, they keep trying to eat it. Anyway, that's a nice hanging plant and it's quite long and wispy. And that was six pounds. Um, really pleased with that because normally you don't get nice looking plants that are not real. But this looks nice, especially like on top of like a wardrobe or a high shelf or something that is absolutely gorgeous also what i picked up in there was this isn't this beautiful it's a napkin holder and it's got a lovely flower design on it and to me this would go beautiful with the lantern because it's got that kind of white flower sort of christmasy snowy kind of look to it I mean, this would be beautiful on any table, whether you dress it or not, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I think this came in at about a couple of pounds. I can't remember, guys, maybe three pounds, two pounds, uh, that kind of um, price. But yeah, this is really gorgeous. 
Right. Oh, a couple of things I picked up in there as well were these. These um, candle holders. Now, I really thought these are beautiful and I really wanted these to go on the gold tray. So I picked up a couple of these. I think these were about five pounds each for these ones, but these are stunning. It's like a very um, sort of muted brass kind of looking gold. Not your bright gold, but very dim, but this is gorgeous. Let me just put one down and show you properly. So they've actually got like a little holders. I like the way they package their, their things because it holds your glass together. Otherwise, you know, things can break. And there it's got like that kind of glass in it. And you could put your tea light in there, put your glass on top so it doesn't actually affect the flame. Um, or if you've got like a votive in a votive glass holder, it can probably fit inside here, but I'm talking about the votive styles. So if you've got a, a votive holder, never put a votive alone in this because it, it, can't, it can't handle the heat, but it can handle a votive that's already in another. You get my drift, guys. But anyway, this is gorgeous. And that's from Ikea. Picked up some uh, potpourri there. And this one, this has got a beautiful smell. I can't really remember what it's called, if I'm being honest. And I can't see anything on the back that's written that will tell me what it is. But either way, that's what I picked up. And I just love the colour. And because this is my sort of colour scheme, this will go lovely in anywhere I set it in the home. So yeah, that was only about a pound for that, guys. But it's really, really nice. Right. Also this. Look at this. This candle holder. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Really, really gorgeous. I don't know. I'm just loving this beautiful detail that um, Ikea have got on their things. You can use to hold condiments if you wanted to at a table. Or you can use it to put something on your dressing table. Or you can use it as a candle holder. God, so many things. It's quite long. That's how it looks. And that is absolutely beautiful. I can't remember the price for this, guys. But it wasn't very expensive. Five, five pounds, if that. Probably a bit less. But this is beautiful 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 i tell you i'm really impressed with ikea and guys this was all on my way to try and find curtains but the, it's like a, yeah let me tell you i walk my little socks off in that shop so that's why i come across all these things because i walk my little socks off guys because i'm trying to find curtains anyway we move and i did find the curtains so here they are in case you don't believe me <laughs> I finally did find the curtains, guys. So when I put these up in the apartment, you'll see the curtains. I hope these are the right ones. I haven't even opened them, but yeah, I will be putting these in the apartment, but I just thought I'd show you the haul first and prove to you, because some of you actually wrote on the um, comments, did you get the curtains? But they were in my basket, didn't you see it? But this is my proof, got the curtains for the apartment. <laughs> right, moving along swiftly, guys. I saw this basket, well, basket tray, if you like. Um, really beautiful tray and it's really wide and these sort of trays I've seen them on H&M um, H&M home I've seen these in I think it's a, a Etsy shop I think it is I can't remember guys off the top of my head but some of these are going for 35 to 40 pounds this one came in at around the 13 12 or 13 pound mark in Ikea love it love it this is so beautiful I would set out candles and pumpkins and all that kind of thing on it and then when you want to move it away from the seasonal if you want to use it at christmas you set out your holly you set out your um little cherries and things like guys it's so versatile so versatile absolutely gorgeous or you could even serve maybe dry foods on it if you want to serve like a dry you know like a platter of dry things versatile in so many ways right what else did i get in there um, try not to make too much noise, guys. You, you probably can hear it, clang, clang. So you, you figure I've got some sort of um, glassware. I have. Now, I just want to tell you this very quickly. This is a pillow. No, start again. This is a cushion filler. Now, I can't say the name, and I'm not going to try to butcher it. I'm just going to show it to you like it is. That's the name of the filler that I use for my cushions. This is 50 by 50, and these are the ones where you can get the the chop effect, the higher, yeah, the chop effect. 
you can get the chop effect with these cushions i'm telling you now this was about six pounds i think it was um and if you see this cushion here i showed you this cushion in my uh get ready for autumn haul and this cushion was uh 45 by 45 but this filling fits into here and i can easily get a chopper out of this cushion so if you like the kind of fillers that you can get you can maneuver them on your bed your set you whatever kind of give it that stylish vibe that's your one yeah let's put that down right also while i was in there i came across this and i just thought i have to give it a try it's just so attractive and this candle is called dark caramel and sea salt isn't that gorgeous it looks so expensive and stunning. Now, I have seen these in shops along Oxford Street, things that look very similar to this. And it weren't for this price. I think this was about six pounds for this candle. Um, I'll just have a smell. Now, guys, I'm not crazy about it, but there is something about it that's quite nice. I'm not sure if it's the sea salt or the dark caramel. I don't know which one it is, but... I haven't lit it, so cold, it's okay, but there's something behind it I'm not quite sure about. I'm gonna have to light it and see. But I don't even mind what it smells like because guys, this is just so attractive. This is so, so attractive. Can you imagine you're putting up like, um, cause especially like my aesthetics are mainly gold. So if I'm dressing like one of my tables and I wanna put this kind of vibe with it, this, this would just fit the picture. So I just like the way it looks, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm, yeah, I'm not overly crazy about the smell, although it might be really nice on lighting it. On a cold sniff, I'm not sure if it's the dark caramel. I think it might be the sea salt, you know, because I'm not actually keen on sea salt, if I'm being honest. So it might actually be the sea salt because I do love caramel. Who knows? But anyway, this is uh, dark caramel and sea salt. How beautiful. Just stunning. So, that's that one. What else did I get? Oh, yeah. My daughter said to me, Mum, if you're going to do the coffee station, can you get us a cup more of them cups that you got? Because I've got a couple of cups, you know, your latte cups. And they said, Mum, can you get us a couple more? So, when I saw them for a pound in there, I thought, let's, let's, let's get a few more cups. And these are a pound, and they are good quality. They are strong. Look. Now, guys, you know how I feel about clanging glasses and, psh, yeah. And I'm telling you, I have, I'm comfortable with these cups. I'm confident that these will not break so easily. Um, oh, here come some people trying to come back in the room. Oh, where, where are you going, Miss Tiggs? Oh, hello. Okay, so Tiggs is going to come all up in this and have a cup of coffee. So as I was trying to say before, um, some people will get in the way. So these are my latte cups and these were coming in at a pound each. And um, yeah, yeah. When you're ready, takes you know when you're ready. Yeah, and uh, got your bottom in my face. Mm, yeah, so I've got yeah, pound each for these cups. Get your tail stuck in it. Sure. Oh, I'm not doing cat cruelty, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> now I've got to find somewhere to put it without her getting in the way. Yeah. So the other cups that I saw in there, which I thought were quite nice as well were um, these cups. I got myself a couple, but I'll just show you the one. Now there's this cup and you've got them in the smaller version to this. And this is the larger one. This is 175, these clear glass cups. And I thought these were nice for tea. I mean, the other long ones are nice for coffee. These ones would be nice for tea. And um, I think the smaller ones might be 145 or 35 and the large one is 175. But isn't that gorgeous? And again, very sturdy. No, no one's calling you, Tix. Just take a seat, please. Yeah. So, as I said, um, yeah. Just try, just trying to get a tail from under my arm, guys. But anyway, I shall carry on. So, just as I said, with this one, um, this she's putting me off, you know, guys. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But you know what I'm saying. This, this Yeah. It's just, she's just perched right on my knee. Like, why would you? Don't, you've got the whole floor. Let me keep going. Yeah, you can hear it, can't you? See? The girl is perched on my knee, like my knee was made at Ikea. My knee is for my, my purposes, not for this girl to put her bottom on. But we move. Anyway, talking about tea stations and ticker sales, I got this. Now, what I like about this is that I've seen this for quite a while, 
and it's always been known as like a coffee maker but i didn't know you actually could do tea in this as well so i thought to myself well if i can do tea and coffee i'm going to finally get myself one and i thought this was really cute only a fiver for this and that is absolutely cute and that's also to go in my coffee station as well, or hot chocolate drop coffee station, because the girls are more of the coffee ones more than me. Um, so yeah, that's a fiver for that one. Yeah. Really, I tell you, I'm so pleased with my IKEA journey. I'm so pleased. And um, sticking with IKEA, well, not that we're talking about any other store, but <laughs> this. I mean, I know this is simple, guys, and you can get this in any shop, and they're straightforward. But I'm actually loving the IKEA microwave um, covers. Now look at the detail on there. How beautiful is that? I've never seen um, like a microwave cover with that level of detail on it. And they're only a pound. That is so nice. And they've also got the holes in the top that will let steam out if you're going to, you know, obviously heat your food up in the microwave. But again, let me show you the detail up close. How stunning is the detail i mean i like looking at, I, to be honest guys i don't know about you but when i'm cooking with my you know using things to cook with i like it to look nice because i just think it makes the whole cooking experience nicer i mean i don't know but also as well it's smoked it's like a black smoked gray so yeah for a pound i really really like that i'm actually i'm sorry i didn't pick up some more i wish i'd pick up some more of those because i really really liked it right the other thing I picked up when I saw in there was this. Now, I just thought it was biscuits, but then when I actually worked it out, it's actually a gingerbread, you can make a gingerbread house out of it. So if I bring it closer, and basically you've got all the biscuits to make the actual house. So you've got the biscuits to make the roof, to make um, the doorway, the sides, and this is actually really good to do with the children or with your grown children like I'm going to do, or just for a grown adult like myself. I mean, I like doing these things anyway. But this is to make your gingerbread house, and I love this idea. So if you can see the side, all the bits are in there to make your gingerbread house. And then you eat it and ice it. Oh, you ice it and eat it, should I say? You know what I'm saying. But um, so guys, I don't remember the price of that. I really don't, sorry, I don't remember the price. It's under a fiver though, under a fiver, definitely. And the last thing that I picked up in there were, guys, if the, if the camera shakes, my girl's on the travels here. Um, I picked up these orange thins. Now, I just love orange in terms of like orange chocolate, orange biscuit. I do like them. So I thought, let me try these. And um, these are Swedish most loved thins, apparently. So I want to give it a try. I'm happy to try. It looks, they look really nice. They look really nice, guys. And I want to try that. And also, I do like almond taste in things. I do, even though I've got a peanut, well, a nut allergy, not peanut, a nut allergy, I do like almond. And I, I, I do like almond essence things. I'll get there in a minute, guys. But anyway, this is the almond one. And that's that one. And this is almond thins. So, yeah, I wanted to try that. But these are the things I'm going to put down for Christmas, guys. You know, you start buying... I know it's too early to mention the Christmas word, but, you know, if you see things, guys, you might as well pick it up and just put it down. At least that way, you're kind of doing it little, 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 rather than waiting until the final, like, week or two of Christmas, and then it's a stress bucket. Ain't nobody got time for it. So, yeah, I sort of pick those little things up as I go along. But, guys, that's my things that I got from Ikea when I went to buy curtains <laughs> and i end up with this lot but it's such a beautiful haul i hope you guys liked it and what pieces did you like in there anything that you may have liked you know let me drop drop a hit let a... <sighs> i'm too excited guys anything that you may have liked drop a comment down below let me know what you think and here we go here we go certain people are on the move excuse me tigger take please take a seat Okay, yeah, as I was saying, certain people are on the move. So, guys, Tigger, just chill. Yeah, so, guys, as I say, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Tigger. Look, look. No? Okay. All right, just cool, just cool. Just cool. Guys, I'm going to hold on to her because, you know, if I don't hold on to her, she'll just knock everything over. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. 
she just knocks she just knocks everything over. So I'm um, guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed um my come well, I hope you enjoyed my um haul from IKEA and Tika hopes you enjoyed her interfering in things that have no concern of hers. But um, I'm going to love you and leave you. So, guys, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. If you've got any cats, take care of them too. <sighs> and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.